As technology continues to advance, engineers and manufacturers are constantly searching for ways to make products lighter, stronger and more efficient. This is particularly true in the automotive industry, where reducing weight can improve fuel efficiency, acceleration and overall performance. One material that has gained significant attention in recent years is carbon fiber. Carbon fiber is a material that has long been revered for its high stress resistance and lightweight properties compared to steel. It offers greater strength and durability, which makes it a desirable choice for many applications, especially in the automotive industry. Although they are more expensive to manufacture, the prices can come down in mass production settings. With the technology advancing, it was only a matter of time before carbon fiber found its way into engine blocks, and Nissan has already painted it a carbon fiber engine block. But how does it work and what are the benefits and downsides of using carbon fiber for engine blocks? Well, Nissan's patent describes the engine block as having a main block that includes the cylinders, while a resin outer member is welded to it. The outer carbon fiber acts as an insulator from the heat generated by the cylinders, with gaps between the main block and the outer carbon fiber, becoming water passages. However, the block isn't entirely made out of carbon fiber, as it still uses steel cylinder liners that the carbon fiber holds in place. While this initial design shows promise, it's uncertain if an entire engine block could be made out of carbon fiber. Now you might be thinking, if it's so great, why hasn't this been done years ago? Well, there are some downsides when using carbon fiber for engine blocks. And one significant downside of using carbon fiber for engine blocks is the thermal resistance. While carbon fiber itself can take a significant amount of heat, the resins used in manufacturing it can only withstand temperatures of around 250 degrees Fahrenheit. And this is why the design includes the steel cylinder liners, as they can handle the heat generated by piston friction. Another issue with carbon fiber is its vulnerability to oil, antifreeze and fuel. These fluids can potentially attack the resin, causing delamination of carbon fiber mat. Again, not ideal, and if you have ever worked on an engine, you would know most engines have some oil on the block, whether it is from work done or gaskets starting to fail. It's really difficult keeping an engine super clean. That said, using carbon fiber as a main material in an engine block also has some great advantages. You see, despite the downsides, carbon fiber blocks are still really good. Carbon fiber has a lower thermal conductivity than steel or aluminium, which means more combustion energy is kept within the cylinder. Carbon fiber also has a higher strength to weight ratio, which means that it can provide the same durability as an iron block while being much lighter. And with engines, lightness is king. You see, the lighter the vehicle, the less energy is needed to move it. So there are some pros and some cons when using carbon fiber, but are there any other alternatives? While well, iron has been the go-to material for engine blocks for a long time, other materials like aluminium, magnesium and titanium have also seen some use. Aluminium engine blocks have been around for years and magnesium alloys are lighter than iron, although they are not as strong. In many of the newer cars you would see an aluminium block, but when tuning these blocks are less desirable since high levels of boost put a lot of strain on the engine block and all other internal components. With iron blocks you have strength but they are really heavy and alloy you lose a little bit of the strength, but you drop weight. So sometimes it's difficult to decide which one is best. Now, if neither of them fit your fancy, there is another option, titanium. But its high cost and difficulty in machining makes it impractical for mass production. Titanium also has issues with weld embrittlement when exposed to oxygen or nitrogen. In conclusion, the concept of a carbon fiber engine block is still in its infancy, but the potential benefits are clear. With continued research and development, it is possible that carbon fiber could replace steel as the material of choice for engine blocks. While there are still some downsides to consider, the automotive industry is always looking for ways to improve performance, efficiency and durability. And with its impressive strength and lightweight properties, carbon fiber is certainly a material worth exploring. But let me know down below what you think of this. Do you think it, anything will come from it? Um, do you think they'll actually use it? Because going to be a bit expensive especially in the beginning and when stuff are expensive to start with most of the time people don't even pursue it so let me know if you think anything will happen from it um but i do know that it's not the first time they built engine parts from carbon fiber um i've seen stuff where people build carbon fiber bond rods there's, there's some cool stuff out there 
If you want me to look more into those things, let me know and then I'll make an entire video on that. Otherwise, let me know what you thought of this video. If you liked it, you like all of my other stuff, so just go through my channel, see if there's something else you like. I'll check you guys in the next one. Cheers, eh?